Hey y'all, it's Miss Amy, your friendly neighborhood mom with an iPhone, coming to you live from the dark because power has not yet been restored to my home. Before we get started, I just have to thank y'all again for all your thoughts and prayers. They were deeply felt as I went through Hurricane Irma by myself and I came out the other side with any major damage to the house. We did lose a couple panels above the screened in porch and I do think that there probably has been some foundational damage, uh, maybe a crack or something, because this weird thing keeps happening all around the house where all the windows and doors and furniture will kind of move of their own volition when my back is turned. But I'm going to have Tyler look into that when he gets back from his paintball trip on Tuesday. So as you can see... We still do not have electricity in the house, which is super crazy because none of the other houses on the block ever lost electricity. Uh, but I called Florida Power and Light and they sent a truck a couple days ago and I guess it must be a huge job because that truck is still sitting in front of Dimitri's house after 48 hours. And um, one of the electricians who came over to my place, he was working in the garage for a couple hours, kind of tinkering around. And then suddenly, I heard, I guess what's best described as like a, a deafening inhalation of breath. And I ran out to make sure everything was okay. And the electrician was gone, but he had left uh, a pile of ashes in the middle of the garage next to that wooden skull that I got at the antique shop last week. I think that means he's coming back because he's also got, he left like his shoes and his keys and his watch in the pile of ashes. So I think he he's not gone for too long. So I should be okay. But fingers crossed that we get these lights back on sometime soon. But to be perfectly honest, I'm finding I don't really mind the dark too much. In fact, I feel kind of comfy in it and this might sound crazy, but I sort of feel like my senses are sharpening in it. Isn't that weird? Anyway, y'all, today I want to dedicate the show to my daughter, Amblem, who turned 16 years old yesterday, and she's not here now. She's out celebrating with her girls, but I just thought I would express how grateful I am, not only to have such a close relationship with my daughter, but also to really be so fond of her friends. They're such a great group of girls. I love them so much. They're so close. They're so cute. Uh, they're into nature and cooking and dancing and chanting. You know, some moms have to worry about their daughters sneaking out of the house late at night, doing PPC, meeting up with the guys on Grinder. And whenever my girlfriends are talking about that and they look to me like, what do you have to put up with? I'm like, I really can't complain. I sit down with a glass of Crystal Light Margarita on the back porch and I watch them kind of dance and cavort and caper around the bonfire they tend to make. They do this thing where they sing this song in unison. Maybe you know, I can't sing, but the lyrics are something like, we invoke the four winds and we call upon the birds of the night to do our bidding. Something like that. I think it's a La La Del Rey song. And you know, as moms, we have a responsibility not only to protect our daughters, but to also let them explore. And I know that is easier said than done because it's hard. I think about myself and when Amblem first started wearing all black and when she dyed her hair black and painted her nails black and the whites of her eyes disappeared, you know, that scared me. And uh, I could have said, you know, I'm going to bear down and be super strict, but I had to remember, Miss Amy, you were a teenager not too long ago. And I know you're sitting there thinking, not too long ago. It's like 33 BC, Ms. Amy. But let me tell y'all, you know what BC stands for. Before Kim Kardashian, you know what I mean? And it's so funny because I had a very happy childhood. Um, you know, very happy-go-lucky. And, you know, little things happen like three of my childhood homes burned down. But other than that, there's nothing too strange or, or, or really even anything that I have negative memories about. So, moms... Let your daughters explore. If you let them forge their own paths, that path is going to come right back to you. And for you daughters out there, you got to listen to us moms sometimes. We might not dress like Fergie, but we know what's what. You know, Amblem sometimes says to me, I'm like, Mom, why don't you ever shop at Forever 21? And I'm like, Girl, Forever 21, I can barely afford Forever 9.95. You know what I mean? Uh, that's just a little Miss Amy joke. Before I leave you, I just want to share a poem that Amblem posted on Tumblr. Uh, she is a Tumblr. It's called daughterofevening.tumblr.com. Check it out. It might be private after this. Ugh. But I just had to brag because I'm a proud mom. She not only writes poetry, but she writes it in Latin. I'm like, I didn't teach her Latin. She doesn't take Latin at school. What's going on? Dartmouth, pick up the phone. But anyway, 
The poem is entitled Simone Noctua Incatitiotum. Pardon my pronunciation because I don't speak Latin, but I think the language is so beautiful. Et sub noctis avem evocant mea. Egridere. Egridere. Ego sum pythonicium. Ego precipo vobis. Oh my God. How about this for a birthday present? Good things come to those who wait, everybody. Thank you, Florida Power and Light. You know what? First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go dry my hair because this is a nightmare. But uh, I just want to leave you with a happy birthday again to my baby emblem. I love you. And for all you viewers out there, I love you too. I feel very blessed and I can't wait to check in with you next week. Love y'all. Miss Amy, signing off. <laughs>